instructor Joy, how do we bow like a professional balance? How could we achieve the beautiful, sweet sounding? The, the, how do we achieve the dexterity of the sound? Um, thank you for your question. This was a question of a subscriber. I also encourage all of you to let me know what your questions are and feel free to leave comments. And I would appreciate if you could subscribe and give me a thumbs up. So, how do we do that? Of course, there are many things one could do, but I'm, I simplified there could be two things. If you're wondering why you don't sound like a professional violinist. Number one, from my teaching there often the violinists have a too small sound. Sometimes a violinist um, play beautifully, but the sound is too small. So meaning the bow is a bit too light, always. Yeah, that it could be one reason why um, a violinist does not sound as as rich, as beautiful as professional would. Be. Second reason there could be is that the violinists don't always have good connecting bows, uh, connecting sound when you do bow change. So when you go from down to up right now here, there, or up to down right here. So if you don't, um, if you haven't mastered how to connect sound while uh, you do bow change, it could sound like this. And sometimes it could sound a little mechanic. So I'm just assuming this could be uh, one of the majority problems that a lot of violinists face. Um, also, that happens a lot in my teaching studio. So I will tell you how to fix those. Number one, how could we prove, uh, improve our sound quality so it sounds nice, rich, full? Um, so um, try to. So bow. Let's understand the bow. As you can see, this beautiful. It has a nice, beautiful curved stick, and the metal part here, which means, which we call here frog, frog here because there are many parts. It's very heavy. Here, at the tip, which we call this the end. Not only the wooden stick gets thinner, but also there isn't anything much attached, so it's very light, which means this gets heavy. <coughs> sound. If I do nothing, of course, we do constantly something so that it sounds nice and big. So, in how do we make nice sound before we get into big sound? It's very simple. It may seem like very hard, but it isn't. So, as long as you keep your bow between the bridge and the fingerboard in one spot, could be in the middle, could be right at the fingerboard, could be really closer to the bridge. Pick one where you like. Why am I not telling you where to start practicing? Because you need all parts. If you want to play loud, you need to be closer to the bridge. If you want to play soft and sweet, you need to, to be near the fingerboard. If you want to be somewhat in between, exactly in between would be good. So you should practice all three parts so that you can control. So, but just for the exercise sake, let's say, let's keep the bow in the middle. So as long as you keep the bow in one spot, no matter where you're at the front, middle, or tip. Like that, again, tip, middle, and bow. And this is gonna make you to sound good. If you can tell where it is, then simply just stand in front of mirror and see where your bow is staying exactly the same spot where you want to be. A lot of valley instructors say, or a lot of pedagogical books say, also keep the bow parallel to the bridge. From the angle where we are, it's very hard to tell what the parallel is supposed to look like because our head angle is so, so weird to see. So I understand that's hard to do, to keep your bow parallel. So simply forget about keeping a parallel. Just keep the bow in the same spot. So that one is easy to control from even from the weird angle. 
like one spot at either frog, middle, or tip. Frog, near, tip. And then you would do this one in the middle, and the finger, four, and then also near the bridge. Once you're done, then you do a little circled motion. So, let's say, let's imagine that you're drawing a big circle like that with a bow. Like that. Do you see that? And then, this is how you should go. Sometimes 
uh, some violins have a very stiff thumb bow grip. Make sure your thumb is nice and curved. Then put your bow in the string and keep your el uh, shoulder, elbow, wrist completely stiff. Meaning, relax way, but stiff. Don't move it. If you want, you can hold it. And see if you can move your bow up and down using on your fingers, like this. It's another way of exercising your finger joint muscle, like this. You can do exercise. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and please give me a thumbs up.